counter espionage logistics. A former agent, she now serves America as a key member of Questor Alliance Group, the pinnacle and privatized global intelligence. We respectfully remind you that smoking, including vaping, is prohibited anywhere within this facility. We also ask that you refrain from drinking, eating, and talking on cell phones. Finally, the use of any device for taking photographs or video recordings is strictly prohibited, as are flash or flashlight functions. Please be advised, the enhanced virtual surveillance experience is, by design, very immersive. Components of this high-tech surveillance mission may affect those who are prone to motion sickness, vertigo, or who may have medical sensitivity to stroke or fog effects. If you are concerned, please see one of our helpful ops team members before entering the EBS area. Jason Bourne, wherever he goes, as he encounters danger. 
traverses various locations, even advances through time zones. Our ABS technology will be piggybacking onto the new Art Center at Langley. Part of what we need you to observe and evaluate today is that center, and the new section head there, Director Andrea Dixon. She says she's making it her mission to bring Warren in alive. I'd like to believe her. We'll see. And the task will not be easy, for he is a modern ninja, the epitome of deadly stealth. Jason Warren, at any time, might be John Michael Caine, Gilberto Del Pianto, Foma Kinyev, or a host of other aliases. He's physically unremarkable. Average height, weight, and body type. Wearing generic clothing in a large crowd, he might as well be invisible. Depending on locale, he prefers to wear a simple t-shirt, hoodie, or jacket, trying not to call attention to himself. Which also means he rarely carries a firearm. Also mentally enhanced, he speaks multiple languages, and while in hiding, works odd jobs strictly for cash in order to go undetected. Occasionally, he resorts to street fighting to earn some untraceable cash. The pay may be good, but by displaying his extraordinary hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities, he risks making himself more noticeable, and therefore, more vulnerable. This concludes your briefing. Now, your mission? Find Born, which with the EBS will be easy to do. Then, observe, but do not engage. Be careful, as you will be right in the middle of the action, feeling like you are the eye of the surveilling camera. It's quite possible assassins may be involved. Assets, as the agency calls them. But let's hope not. I'm counting on Director Dixon to do the right thing, as Jason Warren is critical to our country. I believe he should be allowed to continue to uncover more of the truth, and to do so without being terminated with extreme prejudice.